What up guys, the Fighting Therapist here, and for today's video, we got to the first episode of MMA Fighters Asking Questions, and on today's list, we got the man himself, Rory the Red King McDonald. Mom, Dad, I'm no longer the boy you used to sing. I've changed a lot, plus I've grown to hate every human being. So now I know Rory since I was roughly about 18 years old, and he was beating my young ass here at TriStar Gym. And I thought, why not give Rory a shout, maybe ask him some questions that he might have for himself that might be beneficial for a lot of you guys that are doing MMA as a sport. So his question for today, I'll pop it right up here, is I've been getting low back pain and stiffness in my lower back since I turned 30, tight hamstrings also. So to break things down as simple as possible, I put it in a couple of categories. We got posture, we have biomechanics, we have your age, which again, you said it was 30, and there's a reason why for that. And then we also have core, and then we have nutrition. So if you look at the first one on the list, it's gonna be ADLs, which comes with posture. So ADLs pretty much is activities of daily living. We wanna look at how are you moving throughout the day? Are you sitting a lot throughout the day? That could cause a lot of stiffness in the um, really tall, but is that psoas major just really tightening up and then creating that anterior pelvic tilt that we'll have, which again is going to start creating some tightness in those hamstrings. Now we have a posterior tilt, which is causing the hamstrings being the tightness is causing that pelvis to be in that position, which is exposing the low back. And then we're getting pain that way. Really trying to know where the position of your pelvis is, is going to really give us a really good indicator on everything else that you're doing throughout the day, right? So if you're in a different type of tilt and you're going to lift something up, you're going to go do a certain movement, you might be more prone to injury at that low back junction, right? That, that lumbo pelvis area. Then when we go to the next topic and we're looking at biomechanics, how's your flexibility? Uh, do you have some hypomobilities? Do you have some hypermobilities, right? So the hypermobilities, we're going to want to strengthen and make a lot stronger. The hypomobilities, we're going to want to increase that flexibility. When it comes to the low back, we want to look at the hips we want to look all the way down at the feet it is a huge predictor that comes up to the spine we want to also look a little bit higher at that t-spine because you might be losing some ranges of motion trying to gain it from your lumbar spine then we want to know how your technique is during your exercises when you're doing squats when you're doing deadlifts when you're benching when you're doing some overhead press what are you doing with the back are we creating stiffness within the core are we keeping it tight are we are we maybe arching a little bit too much are we bending too much on let's say a deadlift the romanian deadlift that's another look that we're going to want to see. And then lastly is moving and movement analysis. At the naked eye, you don't really know what's going on, but someone that's done a degree in this, when we're looking at a fighter, I'm really trying to see how is the movement? Is he lacking some ranges? Is he compensating somewhere else when he's trying to throw, you know, the punch straight to a head kick coming down? Um, when he comes down to go into a double leg, how is he standing, right? Is he punching a little bit too forward? Since now Rory, is still competing and he's still doing these movements on a regular basis that might just be aggravating our old injury that he had right which is also is another issue we want to kind of look at those things and take it into account the next predictor rory you actually said it was age so when we hit 30 you start getting like degeneration of muscle bone ligament you actually start increasing your chance of osteopenia osteoporosis and the prime exercise or treatment for it is actually weight training uh i see you weight training uh, i know you do but we're trying to see how much are you weight training, the, what is the stimulus that you're giving yourself and how many times you're doing it a week and are you hitting those minimum effective volume sets and reps or are you just going right under because that not, might not be enough or maybe you're doing too much, right? It's kind of everything comes together. I would personally suggest doing two to three sessions a week uh, following a conjugate method. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check a little bit uh, of it out. And then as well, if you don't want to find a conjugate method, what I find is better for MMA fighters in camp. If you're off camp, you could definitely just follow a periodization program. Either you do linear, reverse or undulating program. The next topic we're going to want to hit is going to be core. Now with core, I did mention it before, we want to make sure that we're able to create stiffness within the whole anterior, posterior, lateral chain, right? So we don't want to see any bending. We don't want to see any tilting. We, don't, we want to see that that's able to be nice and tight while we're producing power and force, right? When, when we're throwing our punches, throwing our kicks, when we're weightlifting and doing our deadlifts, are we able to maintain stiffness? When we're doing overhead press, are we able to hold that in? Or is our glutes firing? Is, is our low back nice and tight? Are our erectors holding us in place? We want to be looking at that stuff. So being able to create stability and stiffness within that body, it's going to be a big one right there. Rory, I see your stories. I'm sure your nutrition is on point, but we always want to take nutrition into account as well because of the age predictor that we talked about with you weighing over 30 we want to make sure that we're at least hitting roughly about one gram per pound of lean body mass little numbers for you guys perspective i'm roughly 215 pounds 
I have roughly, let's say, 15 pounds of fat on me at the moment, uh, maybe a little bit more. So I would probably want to hit roughly about 195, 200 grams of protein every single day. You want to also be looking at those micronutrients. As we get older, we do see that we do need micronutrients. And especially just being in the tri in TriStar, any MMA gym, you are sweating profusely. You are using a lot of vitamins and minerals. So we want to make sure that we're replenishing those either through food or through a supplementation type form. Lastly, we want to look at the supplements. What are you taking, right? Uh, Omega-3s at this point is actually going to be a great look, right? Uh, we also want to make sure creatine as we actually get older. Older, we start decreasing our ability to utilize creatine so supplementing it at an older age is actually a lot better and they want to make sure that we're getting in a lot of sunlight especially here in Montreal since Rory I know you're from here it's shitty outside we're not getting enough light exposure sun exposure and that's a really big key when it comes to bone health so make sure we're taking a d3 k2 supplement every single day is going to be completely vital lastly what i want to target is rory you said your hamstrings are tight right uh this falls into a section but i wanted to just do it on its own if your hamstrings are tight two things might be happening like we talked about that hip flexor so your psoas major might be super tight which is shifting your pelvis and it's creating your hamstrings to be on a stretch when your hamstrings are on a stretch for too long they become stiff and tight because the body wants to protect itself it's a mechanism that we all have on the other side of it and you also might not be having proper glute activation right you might be feeling your glutes but it doesn't mean that they're actually timing the contraction at the proper time right so you see a lot of people when they do like a, a glute kickback they'll feel actually their hamstrings fire first before their glute so maybe we need to do some muscle re-education there and try to get those glutes to fire before the hamstrings fire to start slowly teaching you how to fire those a lot properly to create that stability without within our core right that lumbo pelvic region where your si joint is and your lumbar spine is we really want to make sure that everything there is firing properly and working to really give us that stability we need and to take pain away right Everyone is going to experience pain differently. And I'm completely not assuming that you have any like disc issues or just taking that completely out or just basing it off of simple things that could be causing the back pain and those hamstrings being tight. Again, something tight doesn't mean that it's, it's tight because you're not flexible. It might be tight because other muscles are not working properly. So you're going to want to take that into consideration as well. I hope that kind of covers everything for you guys. I divide it into as many parts as I could so you guys can kind of look at what might be affecting you and if you found that issue you can do it. Rory it would be glad to do a part two of this video where you actually come and we check all these things out on you and then people can kind of see what's going on and then you kind of just get you know free treatment and uh, you get to get your low back pain away. If anyone out there has any issues as well for your low back or just back pain in general message me my hashtag is down below or my Instagram handle is down below. It's the fighting, the dot fighting therapist um, on Instagram. And then this is the YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting all of these. We'll end the video here. In the next segment, we're going to have another MMA fighter and he kind of owns the gym. I don't know. You're going to want to stay tuned to find out. Catch you guys in the next video. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. Peace. I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give so that if you guys do have those issues, you can actually, oh wait.